I learned about ECT because I had hit a point where I was at the end of my rope in terms of treatments. I started in February of 2015, and the reason I can remember the month and the year so well is that was the latest and last suicide attempt I had. The results have been literally life-changing. There were fewer ups and downs, and then when the ups and downs would hit, the ups weren't as high, the downs weren't as low. So it felt like my world started leveling out. There are many patients that can benefit from ECT. Uh, patients who basically have a mental illness that is not helped by medications or psychotherapy, and it's severe enough to disrupt their lives. I come every four weeks and it works wonderfully. We induce a seizure by stimulating the brain with the electrical stimulus. It's like rebooting the computer. It's not gonna change the capacity of the computer. It's not gonna change the hardware, uh, it, but it's gonna, let's say, debug the software and let it work. Uh, the way it should. The actual process and procedure is painless, is simple, is easy, and is not scary. In many movies, it's portrayed as a form of punishment, which is far from the truth. I'm in my sweatpants and comfortable shirt, and they run an IV, and the doctor gives you some medicine, I go to sleep. The patient does not feel anything. The seizure lasts for maybe 30, 40, 60 seconds. The anesthesia by itself lasts for about five minutes, so making it one of the shortest procedures in medicine in general. It's made a drastic change in terms of what I can do now in that um, my relationships with my husband, um, with my parents, it was, so hard for them to go through all of these things standing there and a lot of times feeling helpless. Now I can have so much more to my relationship with them because I can interact on a much more stable level and I can interact with them on a much more even keel. I have so much more happiness in my life than before. Not only happy to be alive, I want to be alive and I want to be happy.